Hello and welcome to Group 2's final presentation over Business Intelligence for MBA 619, IT Business and Strategy at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. The team members presenting today include Brent Cool, Justin Harris, Charity Kamal, Austin Smith, and Tammy Williamson. Business intelligence. What is it? And how important is it in today's business climate? The definition of business intelligence has continued to evolve. In 1958, Hans Peter Lund, a computer intelligence scientist at IBM, defined intelligence as the ability to apprehend the interrelationships of presented facts in such a way as to guide action towards a desired goal. Over 30 years later, Howard Dresner coined the term business intelligence as an umbrella term to describe concepts and methods to improve business decision making by using fact-based support systems. To this day, Howard Dresner is a well-respected figure in the software industry. In today's business climate, having reliable data about customers, internal operations, economic trends, along with other data is imperative to the success of any business, big or small. Business intelligence can deliver that data. This is why it is so important and should be made a priority in any company. According to a new survey by the National Association of Chief Information Officers, the top 10 priorities were ranked by the CIOs of each state. You can see the list of 10, and they are numbered based on the priority need. What are the major functionalities of business intelligence? Data storage and management, information delivery, query reporting and analysis. Data storage and management. Data warehousing. Data warehousing is the integrated combination of multiple databases across an enterprise for data analytics and decision making purposes. Data quality. It is very important that before data goes into a data warehouse that it be standardized and cleansed. This is the importance of data quality. There are four phases in the data quality management process. Assessment, design, transformation, and monitoring. Data mining. Data mining is the process of analyzing data from different perspectives and summarizing it into useful information, information that can be used to increase revenue, cut costs, or both. Information delivery. Information can be shared with more people across an organization in real time. This can increase productivity of employees and make the company more proactive to potential business opportunities. Dashboards. Dashboards give users quick and organized access to large amounts of data, usually in graphical form, that is in one place. Trends and patterns can be easily seen for making important business intelligence decisions. Searching. Searching deals with the ability of users to find accurate and necessary information from current information assets to do their jobs properly and complete tasks. Effective search strategies enable organizations to exploit the information assets they already have. They also enable companies to identify opportunities, reduce risk, and garner insight. Managed reporting. Managed reporting is where executives and managers have customized and personal access to critical business information through portals. Various business users can customize reporting formats to help them gain operational insights. Visualization. Through visualization, information is displayed in simple, readable charts, graphs, and maps, etc. Business users can then more quickly locate patterns, trends, and anomalies. Scorecards. Scorecards are essentially analytical tools that allow users to examine details 
of individual objects rather than the whole, such as product, individual products, individual salespersons against key performance indicators. Query reporting and analysis. Ad hoc analysis. Ad hoc analysis essentially helps business users get questions answered that have not already been covered or touched upon. It digs even deeper into missed details of current reports. Production reporting. Production reporting is basically reports from data direct from the production floor. What is produced and, what, and not produced? How efficiently are your production processes? And lastly, OLAP analysis. OLAP analysis is essentially online analytical processing, and it allows effective online analysis of data warehouses through rapid multidimensional data responses to complex analytical queries. We understand your frustration and we share your pain. So how do we achieve business value? Here are some potential sources of business value that we will cover in the next few slides. Measurement, analytics, reporting, collaboration, and knowledge management. Each one of these sources can help a business attain their highest value. Measurement is a very broad term. What are you measuring? How do you measure it? What do the measurements mean? First, in order to be able to determine a business's value, you must be able to measure in some form or fashion. Or else, how would you know where you are going? The team of business information experts from the Board of Trade of Metropolitan Montreal has outlined a comprehensive plan of measuring performance and setting targets in order to attain the highest value of your business. Remember, you may be doing good things and helping further the business, but how do you know where your business is valued compared to your competitors. Therefore, first, it is important to decide what to measure. Whether that be your financial performance, customers, or employees, you need to decide what you are going to measure. To value your business, it is most necessary to compare yourself to other businesses within the same industry by measuring through benchmarks and key performance indicators, or KPIs. A lot of large companies, both for-profit and not-for-profit, use big data in order to see what is going to happen in certain areas of their business. For example, UAB Medicine uses big data with analytical software called Dash This to see how many people are visiting their website and specific web pages throughout their site. This allows for the marketing team to be able to target specific consumers or providers or where to produce ads that will be the most useful in promoting a new or existing service line and its services. Moreover, reporting things like data visualization, which is the information that has been abstracted in some schematic form, including attributes or variables for the units of information defined by Michael Friendly. The above data visualization describes the amount of hits on certain pages on the one site which is for UAB employees and the medical professional site of uabmedicine.org. Collaboration is essential for any business and its value to the community. As those within the departments and across departments collaborate together and share ideas, it adds to the value of the business. Adding on to the last example, if the marketing department at UAB Medicine did not collaborate with physicians and nurses to roll out the new e-medicine telemedicine application, it would be a disaster and not work at all. Therefore, with the collaboration across departments, from marketing to physicians to nurses to the IT department, it took everyone collaborating together in order to implement the new telemedicine program. Furthermore, defined by Wikipedia, Knowledge management is a program to make the company data driven through strategies and practices to identify, create, represent, distribute, and enable adoption of insights and experiences that are true business knowledge. This, moreover, can lead to the software application usage of learning management and regulatory compliance.
The impact of utilizing business intelligence in CRM and ERP systems. Customer relationship management. Sometimes organizations need to glean more insight from their data than the system itself may be able to provide. In these cases, it's worth taking the time to look at business intelligence software that can help them uncover the real truths hidden in the CRM data. CRM is not just technology, but a strategy, process, and business goal that an organization must embrace on an enterprise-wide level. Customer relationship management involves managing all aspects of a customer's relationship with an organization to increase customer loyalty and retention and an organization's profitability. CRM systems rely heavily on business intelligence to get insight into customer behavior. These systems quickly aggregate, analyze, and disseminate customer information throughout an organization. Many organizations, such as Charles Schwab and Casey Permanente, have obtained great success through the implementation of CRM systems. The advantages of incorporating business intelligence in CRM systems. When used appropriately, business intelligence incorporated in CRM systems help organizations identify their customers across other applications. They also help organizations segment their customers into categories such as best and worst customers based on understanding the customer's buying behaviors. Lastly, they help organizations make predictions regarding customer behavior such as which customers are at risk of leaving. This enables them to design individual customer marketing campaigns to draw in those particular customers. Enterprise Resource Planning The central feature of all ERP systems is a shared database that supports multiple functions used by different business units. In practice, this means that employees in different divisions, for example, accounting and sales, can rely on the same information for their specific needs. The Advantages of Using Business Intelligence in ERP Systems Custom business intelligence solutions match ERP data with other transactional data outside of the ERP solutions, allowing executives to analyze data from multiple sources via a single web-based interface. Business intelligence solutions also provide analytics that are customized to an organization's business roles. Some more advantages are that business intelligence solutions have a go-anywhere drill capability that allows executives to view summary data and then navigate to analyze exceptions or drill further into detailed information. Last but not least, business intelligence solutions provide a drag-and-drop capability to analyze data and create boardroom quality reports using standard formatting templates that can be easily used by non-technical staff. Okay, now we're going to talk about how a specific firm has applied business intelligence. One of the world's largest oil companies is Chevron. It was founded in 1879 in California, Pacific Coast Oil Company. It merged with Texaco in 2000 to form an even larger company. Some of the facts about the company are it has a presence in about 180 countries. It employs more than 62,000 people, and it manages more than 24,000 retail sites. Just to give you some more information about the, co about the company, it recently spent $2 billion on research and development of renewable power ventures, so you can see that business intelligence would be vitally important to this company. In the oil industry, there's two sectors or costs that are commonly found in the industry. The first is upstream. It's commonly known as exploration and, and, and production, which involves searching for crude oil fields, drilling, and the operation of oil wells. The other part is downstream. In the downstream oil sector or cost, there are, it, it includes refining of petroleum crude oil, processing and purifying of raw natural gas, marketing and distribution of the products derived from crude oil and natural gas. Some examples are products that we use every day, gasoline, kerosene, 
jet fuel, diesel, oil, lubricants, and asphalt. Some of the business needs that Chevron had a few years ago were that they wanted to give uh, its employees the available solutions at a low cost. They wanted to be able to give them the independence to do self-service analysis and reporting and increase the information that was resulting from their existing business intelligence data. They wanted to include more mapping and spatial data in their reports. In 2009, Chevron upgraded its SQL Server to Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. This was supposed to be able to meet its needs for self-service reporting and it also enhanced its analysis capabilities. In this new version, it has an easy report creation and it had new features which integrated Microsoft Excel 2010. Some of the benefits from upgrading its SQL Server was it was supposed to be able to give, give its users self-service capabilities which benefited both upstream and downstream costs. It provided better business intelligence reporting which, which benefited upstream cost, which allowed collaboration between different sectors of the Chevron employees and it increased availability and performance which really benefited downstream cost. Some of the possible risks with upgrading its SQL Server was possibly investing too much money on software that was not going to get a return and some of its employees not being properly trained on the software. 